so drive on lug nuts. And so for that Cadillac, they have to remove the entire engine to change the oil. Wow. The that seems oil. a bit overkill. That does seem a bit overkill. It's the only way they could put the filter in the little uh, thing you unscrew hmm. by removing the engine. Well, I'll tell you what's not overkill. Starting the show. That's great. Welcome, lug nuts. We got a great show for you. We have Ford Bronco Roof Solutions for all new, easier future. Traditional Ford muscle, the Dodge Durango report, gonna be behind you soon. The all new Barracuda, the 2021 Ferrari Roma. New crab mode, and an icon to boot. Volkswagen, Lamborghinis, one ten thousandth Aventador, and we wrap up with full size truck rundown and so just this week. Drive on lug nuts. Drive on lug nuts indeed, and I got to tell you, gang. Besides starting the show, we want you to start on over here to pjandwh.com to where you're going to find all the luggy and nuttiness, including the funniest moments of all of our podcasts, including uh, two promos here in the funniest moments from last week's Triforce podcast, uh, which was titled, uh, I Got 99 Problems and the Princess Ain't One. The, the promos are particularly funny. Yeah, because this uh, the second promo, promo two, is the p- a random point when we were talking about Dune and the new Dune oh, yeah. trailer yeah, that and one. Link scared the, the look crap. on everyone's face. I think. I mean, the look on Kelly's face right here everything. says it all. That's why you want to click on that photo, that uh, video right here on the PJANDWH page because it is hilarious. And you'll also find the funniest moments of Avengers, Marvel's Avengers, our Let's Play With Your Pajangers series popping up there soon. Probably after this podcast. Who knows? And uh, as well, you can hop on back here and check out last week's Tri- for, or, uh, Lug Nuts podcast, A Florida Man Shoots a Kevlar Tire. Yes, there's no Kevlar tires this week because I avoided those stories. Yeah, it's for the best, really. Because we'll probably stumble on that Florida Man story if you. I just didn't. I just didn't see it yet. Oh, it, it, it'll oh, okay. show up, I'm sure. Yeah, but what won't show up is difficulty with the brand new Ford Bronco's roof. Recently, oh, no. we spoke of so many problems with the little Bronco, but where the Bronco is, uh, the Bronco is taking cues from cars gone past. Okay, like the Jeep Wrangler. The problem with the Jeep Wrangler is that whole back part, that's one roof assembly. Yep. It weighs like 140 pounds. Yeah. It's, and the front ones, it's, that's big. The front ones are big. It's hard to handle. It tips, it cracks, it breaks. Well, this is why. Look, you see this here, and then. Uh, no, it extends back. You gotta that's have what, slides. That's what they then. did to solve it. They made it a trifold roof. That back oh. part c- folds off. But in the Wrangler, if you wanted to replace that back part, that click on the next looks link. Nice without that, we can I come back say. to this and talk about it. If you wanted to, that is the Wrangler's roof. You see how it uh, the it's so large and cumbersome. The next yeah. link is how much it costs. Now, here's the problem with the Wrangler roofs. Uh, you have the soft top and you have the hard top option. With the hard top option, what some We are people, specifically talking about the hard top. What some people do with the hard top, they will put it on in the wintertime, and then they will take it off in the summertime. The problem with that is that Would they Would be expansion keep, and contraction? They keep the soft top roof on when they put the hard top roof on and then they wonder why, why they have water leaks. Why would you do that? I got to tell you I have heard more people complain about that. It's not it didn't just pop off the top of my mind because it was funny. This is a common occurrence. Yeah. Don't. How much would a put the hard top on when you still have the yeah, soft top? Yeah, that's the small on. one. Take uh, it off. How much would a large hard top cost if you click on the next link? 
Here's the problem with it being big and bulky and easily breaking. It costs about three thousand mm. dollars. So, but Ford has solved this problem with, as we were talking about, the trifold roof. Yeah. So okay, I get that that whole trifold roof, but it's still going. It's got to be still be heavy. You have to have oh, yeah, tracks that, in here in the back, and then. All right, you got it you're all back need, here. You're now need you need two people. guys just to get it off the back of the fucking. You and head. I could lift the back part off, but I don't know about if you're the Rock. If you're one no person problem. trying to do that, I don't see that happening. Yeah, I don't see that happening. It's still a problem. It looks like a night. Well, it doesn't have a very big engine. Like but that's that why is, you so. offer a soft top with it. That's what a lot of people did with the Wranglers. They had the soft they don't, top. But maybe they that's the hard this top. This is how they solve and that the problem. And the smart ones would go in between the two. Yeah, well, maybe this is this is how they solve the problem by not giving you a soft top. Use the hard top. Uh, I got to imagine, even in the aftermarket, there's something available for that. Uh, there is also an issue with the doors. When you remove them, you remove the mirrors. It's a bit of a problem, especially for people with uh, certain visual disabilities who have to have two mirrors. Yeah. So, the Ford Mustang is going to have a brand new Mach 1, a 480 horsepower 5 liter V8 fitted to the brand new Mustang. Mm -hmm. Six speed manual or 10 speed automatic. <coughs> so. Fascia, what the fuck? Exhaust tips, Brembo's, and a new rear aerodynamic package with a unique wing and diffuser combo, which is essentially a huge waste of money. Suspension. It's going to uh, go really fast, though. It's going to need to keep it on the ground. It's going to go. Whoosh. Not. Not. No? Not to really. I don't really believe but it. it looks I'd need cool. to see specs. But it looks cool. I'd need to see specs to justify it. In that case, kind of it just looks cool, man. Let's just go with it. And suspension goodies borrowed from the Shelby GT350 and the Shelby GT500, including magnetic dampeners and unique 19 inch wheels. Not 9 inch wheels. That would look ridiculous. Here's the part that I like the most the colors. They have so many variety of colors. Antimatter blue, carbonized gray, grabber yellow. I don't know where they come up with their names. LSD. This, yes, this will be available for the Mustang along with other colors. Special colors. Fighter jet gray, icon silver, shadow black, Oxford white, velocity blue, twister orange, race red, grabber yellow again. All just for the Mach 1. Mm-hmm. I think it's uh, very exciting to get a new Ford. It's nice that they are uh, really going for it. I mean, I'd never buy one, but it's good they're making new stuff. Yeah. The Mustang, I will say, the Mustang's probably the only one I would buy if I had... A gun to your head? I'd get the convertible. Okay. Maybe. And then I'd put, like, one of those Viking heads on the front. So it looks like a Viking ship. Fair enough. It'd have to be a small one, otherwise I'll get arrested. And you could be arrested in this. You're going to see it behind you all the time. Man, I really need that sound effects button of Connor saying, That was a good segue. You can tune into the YouTube after credits for that. That was a great segue. That was a great segue. <laughs> that was a horrible segue. Now we have both. But this is the 2021 Dodge Durango. It will be reporting for duty to pull speeders over a time near you. What do you think about it? It looks like a cop car. It is a cop car. I like the little side lights there. They're, they're rather cool for a cop car. I it mean, not only gets an updated look with the rest of the Durango lineup, it has an updated interior just for law enforcement. The center console will be removed with an IP mounted shifter. Instrument panel. I slash P. Instrument panel. There you go. Now we all know and I can say it in the future. So there you go. 
They removed the center console, put it all up on the front. Okay. I got to imagine there's going to be a laptop in there somewhere, though. That's probably why they had to remove the center console because yeah. they got to put a laptop. To find the laptop shotgun right here. Shotgun and missile launcher and. Uh, no, missile launcher pops up out of the headlights. Out of the oh, instead of the headlights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Just make sure you push the right button Ooh, when what you type flash of... somebody to go. Yeah. Yeah, that would be better. What type of engine do they got working there? The Rango Pursuit is a, th- a 3.6 liter Penn Star V6 delivering 293 horsepower at 6,400 uh, 6, RPM and 260 foot pounds of torque. At 4,000 RPM, the Highway Patrol will be getting a 5.7 liter Hemi V8. is also available with a 360 horsepower at 5,150 uh, 5, RPM and 390 foot-pounds of torque at 4,250 RPM. Both engines are mated with an 8-speed automatic transmission. Law enforcement agencies can order now for 2021 delivery of the Dodge Durango Pursuit. Oh, thank God they have a push-push fuel door. I was really worried. Push-push fuel door. Okay. Speed controls. That's important. Oh, my God. They have a steering wheel with Ah. chrome center caps. Vinyl floor coverings. Wow. These are some of the fantastic options that are available. Tax-paying dollars at work. Active head restraints. Standards. Airbags, which rear really backup is. camera. I like that, especially like with that. FBI stuff. You're going to need some airbags every once in a while, along with four wheel disc brake, anti lock brake system with electric brake force distribution. Park view because legally you have to have a rear uh, camera now. Yeah. Trailer sway bar control. How many times do you see? And I mean, maybe because of like the traffic things they put up, you need that, you know trailer sway control yeah you know maybe that but in case it has a they're gonna tow something they ready control. alert braking if they want to tow say it's the swat van yeah they can tow it with yeah. the brand new dodge durango pursuit yeah if you want to look like a cop get a durango i know they will they're, they're now going to explode isn't it good that ford got rid of all their cars yeah this one i, I would rate this one a Five. I look forward to, uh, I don't look forward to saying it. No. And I never do anything wrong. I would rate this one a 5 0. <sighs> so, after you know what arrested, else gets a 5 on the scale? The brand new Barracuda. Mm hmm. This is the all-new Barracuda. 13 years rumored production could start as soon as 2021. This design could replace the Challenger, because you're not buying them, I guess. Barracuda! Designs will be based on the original from the 70s. Okay. I mean, they all look the same. Honestly. It it looks nice. I like it. Well, we made this one longer. We made this one kind of rounder. Actually, they're doing a, uh, a a whole design thing across cars. They leaked information about a 3.6 liter V8 for the Challenger with 305 horsepower and 268 foot-pounds of torque. Okay. Rumored 5.7 and a 6 point... I lost the text. Or a rumored 5.7 or 6.4 liter naturally aspirated 800 horsepower Hemi. Mm-hmm. Limited production, about 28 to tw- 28. Base models are from about 26 to 28. Okay. So reasonably oh, priced, but you're not getting that power out of like scroll down and let's look at some of the pictures because uh they do have some interesting ah. things ignore what they say that is i like the barracuda logo. you all, i like that one no. it's going to replace the challenger no i like don't it. like it i would never be able to park it in my driveway it looks like they were playing cyberpunk i like it i like it before me and it's green I, like it. I know it looks black on the screen because it's yeah. the same color as the green screen but yeah it's there. 
technical. Surface. Yes, Barracuda again in green or black. black. Yeah. Based on the '70s from Plymouth. Yeah, it's a good Classic one that keeps styling. nice. Yeah. Nice uh, lines wrong. in Yeah, place. it does honor a lot of the classic Barracuda styling in that, and it does look good. My whole thing is that, like, all their sedans that they put, like, really beefy engines in, they all kind of look the same. Yeah. Well, a little bit. Competitive that ain't the same. interior design, that is not the same. Yeah, I'll tell no. you, I like that interior better than the Camaro. Yeah, but doesn't that Navcon look kind of cheap? It's a test model. What do you want? They're touch they're screen. working on it. It it's a nav. It it's has rather nav. small too. Look at that. You don't buy it for the nav. You buy it because it's a fucking Barracuda, and you can have eight hundred horsepower. Maybe if for you twenty six thousand dollars up that screen with probably not you know, the better models, horsepower. but that we have shitted on other cars for having tiny screens. It does have a nice size screen. I guess. Let's uh, see if there's... I'm going to leave it to speculation there. That looks rather tiny. It is a touchscreen. There you go. But that's rather small. Carbon fiber on the dash. My logical thinking in this is mm -hmm. that a larger screen would make it easier in a car to where your main attention should be to what's on the road. Larger you shouldn't screen, be, bigger buttons. You shouldn't be fucking Boom. with the buttons. You should be driving. You got a lot of different stuff happening there, man. The passenger, they got to be able to have big buttons as well. It's not just the driver for the big buttons. Right, so it the, makes the passenger it easier can focus whole. on what the hell's going on if there's a passenger. But I see your point. Big ass engine. I thought they were going to talk about the. Uh, so the they're going to the styling of the Durango is also going to be based on this. So it's got like that whole swoop. Of the same thing. Okay. You know what else is going to have a swoop? This next story. And it has crab mode. And to honor the Hummer's new crab mode, they have a new look icon. Mm. Look at that logo. This is their new Hummer electric vehicle icon. Can you I've seen worse. Up a little, up a little bit so they can... No, we're in full screen mode. Oh, that one. That oh, one's okay. The other one. Yeah, I see now. <clears throat> it was teased on Twitter on Thursday. The crab icon. The crab icon. I am blurry as a. Mother. Don't worry. I'm, wor I'm fixing that. Okay. They're not worried. Continue. The crab mode may actually use all four wheel steering for sidestep sort of motion. Like a crab. Production starts 2021. Link does not like that. We're in focus now. Okay. Excellent. Crab mode coming soon. You know what's a great combination? Porsche and masonry. Huh? This is the all new tuned masonry Porsche. They've announced a whole new lineup of more modded Porsches for the electric, the whole new electric sedan. Okay. They've already modded the Tesla Model S and other cars. If you go to their website, they have a vast array of awesome looking cars. Those are not green, by yeah. the way. They, they are actually are black. Yeah. We should point that out. Yeah. Nice black styling. I like the, uh, the gold around the edges and the... Uh, Sparse points. It just looks like you haven't unlocked that car yet. Yeah. I'm sorry, we haven't. I unlocked haven't unlocked that, that car. We haven't. We haven't unlocked that. You can't. You can't go into it. That's it. But you know what? You all else might be locked. This brand new Nissan. It could be unlocked if the price is right. Okay, so the Nissan GTR R35 Final Edition 2023 with a 710 horsepower. Final Edition. The 35 Godzilla will apparently go out with a 710 horsepower and 570 foot pounds foot of torque, with only 20 being created. And That's it will cost a shame. about 40 million yen. 
or about three uh three hundred and seventy seven thousand and three hundred dollars you know i like it it is rather nice especially i always have it's a rather special, dashing i have a special sharp place in my heart for the dtrs i used to detail them and i actually got to drive one and it's just such a a nice you feel like you're in the cockpit of a jet fighter when you're sitting in one of those and it's just it's almost star wars with how you feel i know the last it. one had such amazing like data yeah. you can tell you how many g's you were pulling and your yeah. lap time it had very all interesting sorts of crap and a big you know screen in the dash so yeah. you could see yeah. all that data but it was very quick it was just an insane amount and i love the the look of the actual um Headlights and the front grill. The front of it just looks amazing, and it still I looks like, like a GTR, have, uh, but it looks modernized. That's the only photo. If we scroll yeah. down on the beam footage, do they have? Oh, fantastic! Oh, Click on some go. of those photos. So, it comes in yeah, a uh, yeah. what's that green? Turquoise, yeah. Turquoise. That's an odd choice, but I don't hate it. It reminds me. I love that side. The nice. It kind of reminds shot. me like a beefed up uh, Z. Like, if someone took steroids and put them in the Z and made it work out a lot, that's what it would look like. It kind of reminds me of, like, a, the Batman animated adventures when you saw a sports car in that. Oh, yeah, that, it does. It looks very classic, noir, like, 1950s, like, real, like, animated series Batman, like, that kind of styling. And I love it. It just screams nostalgia, but it also But if you did tape. design it, contact us. We'd love to talk to you. P-J-A-N-D-W-H dot com. Click on the Contact Us page. And that's a very nice, very it's raw, not a bad back end. Now, back end. it looks very Batman. It looks yeah. very touring. It does. looks very um, Grand Tour. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's very a bat. Uh, it looks like it belongs at Le Mans. That's a very Batman back end, especially with the wing up. Yeah. That is exactly what you want in a car. You know what it needs? Where that Nissan logo is, and he's like a jet flamethrower. Well, yeah, you need the jet engine out, coming awesome. out the back. And, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I love that interior. Oh, Man, yeah. that is just a fantastic Screen, interior. Screen, the dash. Oh, God, that is everything that you want. That is a sexy-looking car. Carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. Man, Warm beautiful. There. Nice suede interior. Suede I like the little dial. To yeah. control the whatever. Different modes. And then you have your shifter. Nice, sleek interior. Very sexy looking. I love it. Ooh, fantastic looking. But, you know what else is fantastic? The all new 2021 Ferrari Roma. Okay. This is the Ferrari Roma with 36 whole pictures. The 2021 Ferrari Roma is celebration. Of the Italian Gran Turismo. Oh, man. Looks that's like almost it. like pornography. Yeah. It's very don't, nice. Children, don't. Don't watch. It's too. It's too. You're not covering looking. anything. I'm sorry. It's the other screen, remember? Oh, yeah. I like that screen. I can see me more. Roma is not a replacement for the Portofino. This is another V8. Because Ferrari loves... A good front-engine V8 Grand Touring car. Why not? Who doesn't? That is a sexy car. And once again, very fast car, very big screen. Paddle shift. I love the bit, nice bright orange logo. A little bompous, but I, 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 it's the thing. I get it. But it kind of clashes for me with the interior, but... That's the point. Your focal point. Two hundred and twenty-two thousand dollars. The least expensive Ferrari you can buy. The Roma has an eight-speed dual-clutch transmission, which is the same one in the SF90. Hmm. Interesting back end. Whoa. Nice little tiny tail lights. Yeah. The spoiler has multiple settings: low drag, medium downforce, high downforce. Low drag setting. The low drag setting is the spoiler suit flush with the rear window. Like High that. downforce mode deploys a 
135 degree angle to the rear window, generating 209 pounds of downforce on the rear axle and 155 Ooh. miles an hour with a 4% increase in drag. Mid settings, the spoiler deploys about 30% of maximum downforce with a mere 1% increased drag. Mm -hmm. Spoiler activation is based on the speed. Wow, that's a hot looking front end. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's just is, smiling at you. That's that beautiful. Very elegant smile right at the right at the end there. It just lets you know we're about to get into some crazy shit. That's fantastic. Absolutely. The Roma spec with a 3.9 liter twin turbo V8 that makes 612 horsepower and 561 torques. Mm -hmm. Will be screwed in there with a new 8-speed dual clutch transmission that is more compact and 14.2 pounds lighter. That's a hot looking car. Oh yeah. Man, I can't I just can't stop looking at it. Man, they got nice lights and everything. Interesting, I would call them. Interesting. I like the lights. It, it matches the car. It does. Match I don't with see the car. it on another I can't car. Argue that, but it's a very. I can't argue with the styling. It's a very nice car. Very powerful, and it has a side slip control 6.0 system for greater all driving conditions. Get yours end of 2020. Order today. There we go. So. That was Ferrari, but of course we can't finish talking about Ferrari. We gotta talk about the other Lamborghini car. has just made the ten thousandth Aventador. Okay. This is very exciting. The Aventor debuted in two thousand eleven with the LP seven hundred dash four. They named it after their favorite copier. Okay. Who wouldn't? It has 700 horsepower, V12, 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds with a top speed, 217. When if the copier is reliable, I would wholeheartedly name that shit Inkjet, you know, 8600 Pro. They'd probably just call it the 8600. Have to add some extra letters because it's probably taken. It did do the Nurbo ring in 644.97. So Nuremberg ring is very impressive. That going. But what else? Here's is someone impressive? we haven't talked about in a few weeks. Audi with their all new plug-in hybrid system. Currently offering plug-in hybrid for the Q5, the Q7, the A6, the A7, and the A8. Eckerd Clandestin Audi. Audi's head of product and technology communications by explaining the benefits of hybridization, increasing efficiency, of course, and giving a new driving experience to customers. And Audis are always fantastic. Yeah. Luxury German engineering at the finest. They definitely set a standard. You know, they set a bar, and uh, they definitely try to hold on to it. You know, I think it's a nice looking uh, uh, estate car. Link agrees. He wholeheartedly barks at it. Yeah. Let's look at a side view. Better side view. Ooh. It's not a bad estate car. I like... No? I guess I like the front. I'm not sure. I think I do. It's not bad. I it's mean... Not, it's not horrible. It's a wagon. Let's just call a spade a spade. It's, it's a wagon. They're trying to go for like a sporty... State car. The back is all right, but eh. If you get the, your silver, the middle section, I'm not so sure. If you about get your silver section. spoon out of your ass, we call that in the states a wagon. Yeah. You have a wagon. You might as well have. I just like the way it sounds. It sounds so sophisticated in a state car. We're driving a state car. You might as well have wood paneling on the side and Chevy Chase driving it. It sounds like roll them up. Sounds like a great movie. You know what else is great? This next story. The all-new Volkswagen Golf. Mark 8. No, put it back. <laughs> I thought it wasn't horrible. It's Eight. a wagon! 
eight. Yes, that's the wagon variant that they're showing off. They're trying to compete in the crossover market. This is a crossover. It's crossing over from car to this thing. Look, I know a lot of boundaries that don't need to be crossed over, and that's one of them. Ugh. Okay. Well, it has eight powertrain options, five of which are hybrid. Okay. Well, I'll give you that. That's innovative. Volkswagen has four motion all-wheel drive system with the ETSI mid-hybrid system available in seven-speed dual-clutch automatic. No other specs were offered. We okay. just have... The back of the car is very crossover. The front is very... Volkswagen. Why does it get smaller when you click on the picture? Very not a bad interior. interior. Yeah, it's not nice. Bad. I like it. It's simple. You can have your plastic shield wall right here for COVID. For yeah, yeah. so you don't have to interact with the passengers. You wouldn't yeah. want to do that. Well, that'd be they important for like you. a Lyft driver with one of these. You know, you have that partition right there, and then another one in the back. Okay. Just throwing out options. Those very are big options. See how many bodies you could fit in that trunk. That's a huge trunk. That's a very nice option to have a huge trunk. Looks like a gigantic screen. Look, I can almost tell where they are from yeah. here. The mob or drug runners would love that trunk area. I don't think they would. They need to like hide their shit. Well, they that's have why you get this room. thing, so you can just what? No, they're gonna they're gonna open it. You, you would sure? not make a good drug runner. I would not you know either. What? I should Did you do anything wrong? Head. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> we just pulled the shade back and found 10 kilos in your trunk. I Did don't you think, think that was going to work? Like, kind of. I didn't think you would look there. Maybe? No? And right. Volkswagen is known for offering odd options. Like, Would you runners. like a dash-mounted coffee maker? I thought they only uh, offered defeat device options. Well, this would be a defeat to fight option because <laughs> it's very hot, the coffee. We have a photo coming up next. Oh, um, that one's fair. This is a Volkswagen dash-mounted coffee maker. I know a certain cashier that would like that. Actually. I think it, it's very bizarre. Very does it come Very, with the watches? Clearly, the watches they, are involved with the I think the, the watches maker. came with the car. But it's involved with you got to have you got to be able to see what time you started and what time you need to expect it done and then you see the coffee there and then you're like, "Oh man." There's scant information left about the her oof, Herditella Auto Coffee Machine. Hmm. It was found in Siberia today. It, this machine would cost about $136 today and would run upwards of $900. Wow. You think you got it made? You don't have a coffee maker in your car, do you? No. Nope. What are you going to do? I mean, if that's the moniker of success. Then you know what? I never thought I needed this until right now. Fair enough. I mean, coffee. who knew they needed a coffee maker instead of a cup holder? No, there's a cup holder. See, you just set it right on the. Uh, you see? Upper? Until you, you hit a bump. Right. Can you imagine using that in Pennsylvania? No. Hell no. Boom! Oh my God! I got <laughs> ah! <laughs> all over your that lap. That would not be good. Yeah, that, that would. Yeah. That so would be hot. Some ideas are just. But with the two watches, you could time it. How long? It <laughs> how long does it take to burn for my your lap? balls to? So if you're a masochist, you might actually like that option. Yeah, they might. They might. What is this story? Oh, no, that's the same story. Okay. Thanks for joining us. There we go. Finally, in the regular stories, we have the Cadillac Diamond. The all-new CT5. No, no, I don't, I don't want to subscribe to your newsletter. 2021 Cadillac CT5 with new diamond package. Shabbat like a diamond. 
Yes. This Diamond Sky Special Edition is exclusive. Exclusive. Read on page. We're supposed to look on the page. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just looking at No, me. not you. Yeah. No. Oh, features. That's what I want to Here read. we go. Diamond uh, Sky yeah. Metallic Exterior Color Exclusive with the package. Luxury grill, 19-inch alloy, diamond cut, silver finish, all-wheel tires, 20s. Same thing, different gloss. Galaxy wood trim. I like it. I like the sound of it. It just like, sounds like You know what I need in here? Galaxy wood trim. You know what I mean? I feel like... It, in my classic craftsman style home. Ever the nerd I am, but if you look up uh, the universe as like this, one of the celestials in Marvel, she, it's a like a human figure but it's just the universe so imagine like like a galaxy but like with woodwork and it's just like little swirls and nebulas and black holes and shit all along your okay. wood trim it's probably not that but that's how it is in my head I like the galaxy wood trim package in my head that'll probably get made faster than Link finds a spot in his bed I think he's looking for something I don't know Diamond Sky Exterior Color is only for the 2021 model, so upgrade today. You actually, when you order that package, you have to have your pinky out. Otherwise, they won't give it to you. Okay. When in doubt, pinky out. I want the Diamond Sky package. No. Yes. Absolutely. Now you get it, sir. It's like a secret handshake. Yes. Well, you know what's not a secret? Mm -hmm. This final segment. No way. Finally, we're going on KBB's Best. full size truck Trucks. rundown. We're going to be going through some mm -hmm. of these trucks the Chevy Silverado. The trucks we will be covering will be the Chevy Silverado 250 regular cab. There are crew cabs, but I just didn't cover them because I think they're ugly. The Dodge Ram 350. I could just read on the screen. I like uh, that. Go down. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. So, Chevy Crew Cab. Uh, I'm sorry, 1500 Crew Cab. Quad Cab. Super Duty Crew Cab. Oh. Ford F-450. Scroll down. Ford F-250. Believe it or not, we're going to talk about both. So let's and start off with all. the first of them. We're going to start off with the 2020 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD regular cab. It's got a face only a mother could love. Mm -hmm. Whew. Towing of 14.5. MSRP of 34.6, a bed length of 94.4 inches. Well, that's why you use it. That's why you, you have it. It was a very highly rated on KBB, mm -hmm. and I can see why. This is a person who needs a truck. This is exactly for what a, you... For big boy purposes. It's nothing with the interior. Look, you got a little scroll wheel there. It's, you know, you got your lights. You got your big, you know, trucks always have that huge ass center things that, that flips up. In case yep. you need a this has a 6.6 .6 liter V8. It also comes in diesel. It was redesigned for 2020. Significant towing and payload capacity. That's a nice Two fuel cap. More spacious back seat for the ones that have back seats. Yeah. And it's part of the fourth Silverado HD generation introduced. For 2020 there are good things and bad things about this scat stout power and quick acceleration it has a roomy cab with plenty of storage oh I thought you were about to say it has a speaker that sends out scat music at you and I'm like oh my god I would never want to buy this it's called the radio ever. Look, I got to warn you before you buy this uh, Chevy 2500 HD I got to 
Look, it, it comes with a, a feature that you can't turn off. We've tried. We've taken it's out every scat, wire possible. Scat meter. It does scat. It's all the, the scat. Time. If you go over the speed limit, all of a sudden you just start hearing scat music all over. And then you just, that would keep you under the speed limit. Uh, that would keep me under the speed limit. But what would make towing easier is the 15 cameras. Ah, yes, that would. To make towing easier. Yeah. It has a dated interior. And high, broad, ugly, disgusting hood with horrible visibility. I was about to say, you did not make that sound like a bad thing. It has a dated interior. Like, oh, well, it's... It has a dated interior. Yeah. Edmonds gave it 3.9 out of 5, and Kelly Blue Book gave it 5 out of 5. Difference in opinion. I can't get over the front end. I don't like it. But Chevy trucks are reliable. Yes. That's one thing they do right. They do do that right. Yeah. Up next is the 2020 Ram 350 Crew Cab. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Here are some photos. It has a 14,540 pound towing capacity. A MSR for, for 38.8. Bed length of 98.3 inches. I remember when they had Dodge on the front, and it wasn't just Ram. Ram. (laughs) It's a Ram truck. 6.4 liter V8 will be living in this one. It has an all-new lane keep assist, adaptive steering, blind spot monitoring. Now available, which means it's not standard. Yeah, that's exactly what that means. Tire pressure monitoring system, 50-gallon fuel tank. That's a lot of fuel. Modern looking, I will say that. It's yeah, a, American, uh, very American interior. Very it is nice looking, interior. I would it's not, a lot better than the Chevy, I would a say. A lot of pockets. You need a lot yeah. of pockets in a truck. I assume yeah. you're doing construct. Look at all the colors. The colors, dude. The colors. The colors. I'm colorblind, kid. This is the fifth Ram in 3500 That's generation. What we for. It f- first debuted in 2019. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're not using that truck for that, shame on you. Massive towing capacity with a diesel, comfortable seats, quiet cabin, easy to use features on the infotainment pack. That blue is really nice. That's That's very nice. nice I would get blue. I would get blue. Well, the black. Not gonna say that's not green, folks. With a diesel engine, there's always a clatter present. (sighs) Stay away from because it's a diesel engine. That's why. Driving position, a little too high. Ultimate Wall Janger Moy will never buy a red or maroon car ever because it was like, for like the longest time, every car his dad got was like maroon. 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 It's a good color. Man, it's oh, got good God. taste. I can't buy that anymore. I'd either. get the blue one. Um, that first blue, blue one. or I would honestly, I could probably see that one. Gray. Or yeah. that. Uh, that's wow. kind of like a, a. Not. Well, yeah, I would go with the gray or. You'd never fit it in my driveway. No. There's no way we'd get in. Look at that. You could fit a couple of water bottles in there, though. You could fit a case of water in that. That's where you put a case of water. <laughs> that thing. You could have water for the whole crew. Look, I got it. It's in my center console. It's like it's a clown big car. Big as a TARDIS and stuff. Turbo yeah. diesel. I like nice, simple fuel, simple gauges. Yeah. This is how fast you go. This is the radio. Yeah. Very Ram. simple. But that's, you just, that's Dodge, you know? The pictures will be similar to the next one, the Ram 1500 Crew Cab. Next one, there you go. The Ram 1500 Crew Cab is the next step down in the Ram lineup mm-hmm. with a towing capacity of 6'2 to 7,520 pounds. MSRP starts 34.9. Bed length of 76.3 inches yeah. with a V6. I think this should be two different classes. Yeah. This should be in a different class instead of just big trucks. Well, what do you have? Big trucks and what? This is the this big truck segment. Big fucking trucks? Yes. We have our full size trucks and then we have our and, BFT trucks. And doing the research for this, I know why the Ford Ranger wasn't included. It's it's considered by KBB yeah. as a special vehicle. So it's in a class of its own. 
I don't okay. know why. Okay. The 3-liter Eco Diesel runs with more power and torque. Not there a bad looking truck. Not bad at all. Exterior styling patches pa exterior styling packages such as the night edition and the black edition. Mm. Okay. It's new nice. HFE trim polishes, slightly improvised fuel economy, mirror changes to optional features available. Okay. Minor, not mirror. Minor. Minor changes to I would like them to change features. the mirrors. Will they change the mirrors if I ask? That may be a minor feature. That may be a major feature, but, you know. So I should read the, the mirror words feature that I typed is on the not page. going to change. But what I do like about the change is this headlight. Very That's a nice, nice headlight. Sleek. Kind of Optimus Prime kind of looking, you know, very yeah. Transformers. I like that. This is the fifth generation of 1500 See, Ram. there's the mirror on the other side of this. This would not be a mirror option. It may come in chrome. That could be a mirror option. I like it. Now we have mirror options. Mm. Strong V6 with towing rating that rivals those of V8s. Unique suspension delivers an unequal. Unequaled ride smoothness and mm. control. It's a very nice interior. It is a very nice interior. I like the I orange. I like the stitching. It's very... You have it, you know, black where you need it, but the color accents highlighting all the areas and, that make it really pop. And the cabin is roomy, quiet, and latent with useful storage features mm -hmm. and tech. Off-road focus is also available with a unique look. Common driver assistance features, they are limited to higher trim levels. Okay. The car connection gives it a 6.2 out of 10. Motor Trend gave it an 8.3 and Cars.com 4.6. That was with a person styling like that, was very artistic. With styling like that, I, I could see myself getting in something with those doors. That was an artist saying, no, leave the door open as the sun's setting, and we'll take a picture. I was no, talking about the uh, stitching and the choices in the interior. I, I like about them. the picture. Why would you need to leave that open? That looks stupid. But the interior does look nice, yeah. It does. It's a fantastic-looking interior. Mm -hmm. Longhorn edition. Very solid. Looks like snakeskin. I think it's snakeskin. It's probably some kind of dried, dead mammal skin, and... Uh, but... What about the Ford F450 Soupy Super Duty Crew Cab? Soupy Duty Crew Cab. The, the Ford F450 Soupy Duty. F. That's not I it. I think we have a title for the podcast: the BFT Soupy Duty. Soupy Duty. One down. 450, 250. Those are big trucks that are listed. This is the Ford F450 Super Duty. I like Super Duty. Crew Cab Extended. It has a maximum gooseneck towing capacity of 3,700 pounds. MSRP of $54,630. Mm -hmm. With zero cents. Some okay. charges may apply. Bed length of 6 feet and 8 feet for the big boys. V8 and turbo diesel available the next generation 6.7 liter turbo diesel v8 with a heavy duty 10 speed automatic transmission improved towing upgraded infotainment safety features but there are good and bad things that's not a bad looking interior this is what i'm talking about with the center dash because mm -hmm. when you have that small screen in your trucks it's not really lending to the overall resolution you need for your rear view camera. So yeah. if you have a super small screen and like, oh, yeah, you got a camera back there for the trailer, like that's not helping. Uh, it has a turbo diesel V8 that generates immense power and torque. Towing champion in the Ford Super Duty lineup. Spacious cab offers many conveniences and technology options. Very impressive. Very nice looking truck. Extra you know? wide front axle helps 
with tighter than Ford's other HD models. Helps with turns tighter. Okay. Helps turn the vehicle. There you go. That's what it does. Price tag starts high and only goes up from that point. 19.5 inch commercial tires can be expensive to replace. Look forward to those high prices. F450 is heavier weight, which means lower payload compared to the 350. Or isn't that great? No. <clears throat> but Car Buzz gives it an 8.4 out of 10. KBB gives it a 4 out of 5. Okay. So the verdict of the 250 Super Duty Super Cad. Hmm. It gets good numbers across the board, I guess. What about the 250? That should be the last one. Are That's what it was. Where are the photos? Oh, huh. there they are. Looks exactly the same. Because it's a Go Ford figure. 250 Super Daddy. Super, D super Daddy. Daddy and the Super Duty. Super Daddy Super Cab towing capacity, maximum gooseneck. Wow, the same exact thing as the other one. 3,700 pounds. That's a lot. MSRP starts at 36.3. Six and eight foot beds, V8 and turbo diesel available. What's new on this month? This model is new, more powerful 7.3 liter gas guzzling V8, which debuts with a 10 speed automatic transmission. Diesel engines now use the 10 speed automatic transmission. Updated front and rear styling, new off road tremor packages, part of the third Super Duty generation that was introduced. 2017. There are good things and bad things about this truck. I look, wow, yellow. Yeah. That's a bright choice. Orange. <laughs> they have a bunch of bold choices for their. Uh, well, if you're on a contractor, you might want a bright orange truck. Diesel generates immense power, the V8, that is. Especially Plenty. with uh, companies like Horizon, because yes. they have an orange truck already. That would save down on your, you know, prepping cost, because you got to have that same. Exterior, just get an orange one. Yeah, plenty of payload and towing capacity. Aluminum body reduces the overall weight for improved efficiency. I like that. Spacious cab offers many conveniences and technology options. They've covered that twice. Mm -hmm. Price tag soars as do many as the other Ford did, and. If you want to stop, you're not going to stop in this Ford. It has a lengthy stop distance. Edmonds gives it a 7 out of 10. KBB gives it a 4.4 4 out of 10. So, which one would you choose? Honestly, I'm going with the Chevy. Um, I think a Chevy is a nice, solid, reliable ride. Uh, the Ford looks nice, but overall... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that one. The Dodge, tempting, but uh, Dodge is tempting. You know, uh, I'm I'm gonna stick with somebody who has uh, 450 or the 350. Um, no, nah, uh, no, the Chevy. The big one or the the Chevy, the big one, the yeah, first one. The Chevy, the first one. Ah, uh, the first one. Yeah, because I'm not going with the Dodge because Dodge means avoid. Okay, it's the literal word. If you look it up in the dictionary, it, it's what it means. They really failed at marketing there. Yeah. Dodge. Oh, oh you're going to buy that avoid car? Oh, no. That's the, we hit the market pools. That doesn't sound good. We're going to go with Dodge. I got to tell you, I like the look of the Ram. Yeah. The Ram had a solid look. I know you didn't like the front end look of the Chevy Silverado, but, you know, the towing capacity. I'd have to go with that one or, you know, over maybe the, the Ford. Ford and the. You know the uh, the Dodge. So, I wouldn't uh, go with any of them. I'll walk. Mm -hmm. You'll walk. I'll walk. Just carry all the heavy shit you need in your. No, you're getting a Silverado. I'll just ride with you. <laughs> <laughs> we both don't need trucks. That'd be stupid. How much shit do we need to haul? Why would we both need trucks? And on that bombshell.
We ask you to hop on over here to pjnwh.com. We're going to find all the funny moments from this podcast right here. Click on the Contact Us page. Mm-hmm. Send us a letter. A well, digital letter. Email. Yeah. Type in your name, email address, if you wish. Yeah. Give us a message. Ooh, Why do you good. love your car? Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. You can find us all there. We pop up the promos on those sites as well, so you can get all the goodness all over. And I got to tell you, it doesn't matter if you drive a Ram, Super Daddy, or Or a Super Duty. Nothing rolls without lug nuts. We'll see you next week, gang. Drive on, lug nuts. Bye-bye. 19-inch wheels, not 9-inch wheels. That would look ridiculous. Oh, thank God they have a push-push fuel door. It kind of reminds me of, like, uh, the Batman animated adventures when you saw a sports car in that. Oh, yeah. That. I think it's a nice-looking uh, uh, estate car. Link agrees. He wholeheartedly barks at it. Sorry. <laughs> we just pulled the shade back and found 10 kilos in your trunk. Play on my tangas. That was a good segue. Our Island Kelly. <clears throat> Pause, Knave! Ye Knave. Navy? I don't know. Navy? <sighs> Is Lugnut supposed to be green? Is that why it's white? No, no. Oh, it's, I it's changed it to, to white, white and oh, black. Okay. Kind of contrast to the fur jangers and wall hangers yeah. thing. The green thing was just kind of messing. The green doesn't screen. work, though. Oh, we were both going to wear green. We didn't. Damn it. We both wore black. Right. Of course, I'm sporting the Matman logo shirt. <laughs> Old, vintage Matman logo shirt. Don't work on another one. Um, but, well, that's enough with the end segments. Let's start the show. It's a good idea. Oh, we're going to end it. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. You know what that means? Way. Outside time! <laughs> Outside time! Yay! Outside time! You like outside time? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was blocking you this entire time, buddy. Were you, were you able to see the stories? Ah. Uh, you like Jeep anyway. Oh, well. I tell you what else is good. Them hitting that subscription button right there. Oh, yeah, man. And then right above my head, well, that's going to be every lug nuts in a playlist for you. And then over here, well, that's just going to be the very best Purjangers and Wall Hangers video for you. And of course, as we say, drive on, lug nuts. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>